Hey guys, my name is Andrew. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, and if you're not new here, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Um, I really appreciate it and uh, it means a lot to me that you're here. Um, so I'm currently at the uh, trail race um, bid pickup uh, kind of area um, for tomorrow's uh, Valencia 10k trail race. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. It is a 6.2 10k mile race um, and I'm super stoked. It's my first um, trail race ever so I am really looking forward to it and it's in my hometown and so it kind of just felt right but um, yeah so we're gonna go um, pick up our bib. The only issue you guys is we need to cross a river to get there so let me show you what I'm talking about. So I pull up and there's a literal like flowing river like that car is going to go through right now but i'm definitely not putting my car through that so i just parked there but um yeah the, the pickup station is right there over there so we have to cross this area um and get there but you know what it's kind of fun because it's a little bit of a fun little like adventure you want to call it um so anyway, let's go do this. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I will show you guys a bit when I pick it up. Okay, did a little bit of a jump. By little, I mean a big jump. And now we have another one, but it's so pretty. Um, so this is kind of muddy. So I'm gonna be careful when I jump here. So let's start from like back here and maybe get like a running start. Oh God, this can end very badly. This can, I can, I will probably fall on my back. Okay. Let's just... All right. Done. Did that. Now there's a, a larger body of water. So, God, this is not... This is not ideal. Okay, let's just go this way. All right. Okay. That's done. And one more. This looks easy. Oh, God. There's a... There's a giant... Okay. Well... All right, okay, we're here. Now we need to like get past this. So maybe I'll go this way? What a fun, guys, th they made this fun. Like, it's a little, okay, no, I'm definitely on an island. So that's not gonna work. Let's go this way. La la la, la la la. Um, Oh, okay. Well, no. No. That's not gonna work either. Okay. Mm. Well, the only other option is going straight through. Um, uh, so, hold on. I'm gonna figure something out. I will talk to you in a sec. Okay, guys. Um, so, uh, aborted that mission because um, there just wasn't a way to get, and I wasn't about to like walk barefoot um, in the river because I am going somewhere after this and it just would have been not the most ideal situation. However, um, we adapt and we're just gonna drive. <laughs> <laughs> through the little river. All right, I'll see you when I'm picking up my bin. Okay, a little Friday off-roading. La la la. Wow, that does not sound good at all, actually. It actually sounds horrible. I don't know why they didn't have that like across the river. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, guys. So this is the bag that um, all of my stuff is in. So let me show you what I got. So first off, here is the bib, twelve sixty two. I'm running the ten k. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we have a shirt. It looks like. Um, I'll open this for you guys a bit later, but. That's cool. 
and then one of the people that um, was working the stand asked if I wanted a mug, and I said sure, so that's that. Super stoked for tomorrow. Um, again, this is my first trail race, and I just feel like it was fitting to do that here in my hometown, but super stoked, feeling ready, um, and yeah, I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow at 6 a.m. All right, see you then. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday, April 15th, race day. Um, so I'm going to uh, eat some oats really quick. Um, I woke up about uh, half an hour ago. Um, so I'm gonna eat the oats and then I'm all ready to go. Um, the start of the race is about 20 minutes from me. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of stretches and then we'll be good to go. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I think it's been a couple miles and so far so good. Just kind of keeping a steady pace, making sure we aren't darting downhill. And yeah, it's been pretty, pretty epic so far. The views out here are stunning. Like <clears throat> when I was going through that um, little path of yellow flowers, beautiful. What isn't so beautiful are the hills. Pretty epic, steep inclines, but you know, we keep it moving. I'll check back in around mile four. All right guys, <clears throat> just took like a 30 second break from running just to kind of bring everything back down to baseline. Um, my breathing feels good, uh, but when you're going up and down these hills, it's just hard to kind of uh, control that so but you know overall feeling good the views are incredible um, yeah we're about a little past two miles by this point so a little bit of a ways to go but we got it check back in soon all right guys we just turned the loop on our way back down I think we're at mile 5.2, so we're 40 miles to go. Feeling pretty good. Views are incredible. Let's let's get it done. All right, guys, we're almost there. Almost there. This is when you really, again, have to dig deep, push, really find it within yourself to finish the race. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Breath feels good, breathing is great. Um, legs feel fine. They could definitely feel better, but you know, can't complain for my first trail race. Pretty good. Um, it's been a little over an hour, like hour 10, I believe. So I'm happy with that. Um, I honestly wasn't 
like aiming for a time for this race. I just wanted to kind of like get it done, you know, and see what it's like. And then my next trail race, I can really go for a time. But yeah, these hills are no joke. If you ever, if you're into trail running or want to get into trail running and need a place to train and you live in Southern California, come to Valencia because our trails are insane. Hills are insane. It's a 10 out of 10. All right, I'll see you at the finish line. I can hear the announcer, you guys. We're almost there. Woohoo! All right, guys, we're about to cross the finish. All right, that's it, you guys. We finished the Valencia Trail 10K. Um, although it was a little bit more than a 10K, I think I got like 6.9 miles, 6.8. So, but we did it. An amazing race, amazing first trail race. Um, the views were insane, beautiful. Yeah, just overall a 10 out of 10. Um, these are the medals. Cool. It's like a Viking theme, so that's that's pretty cool. That's that. But um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna um, do like a sit down. Uh, so after this clip, like you'll just see me talking about um, just the, the entire experience, my training going into it, all of that. So um, yeah, thank you guys for all the support. Um, and see you in a second. Hey guys, so it is uh, the next day, um, but I thought I would, like I said, hop on here and talk to you guys a little bit about what training looks like for um, a trail race, my first trail race, all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm just about getting ready now to go for another run. Um, but yeah, it's gonna just be like very short and brief. But anyway, so basically I uh, started training I want to say about a week after my marathon. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I ran the LA Marathon on March 19th. Um, I have a video about it. I'll link it in the description for you. Um, it was an amazing experience, 10 out of 10. Um, but I started training for the trail run about a week after. And this month was very busy for me with the creation of um, uh, our magazine, Common Joie, that I'm uh, currently putting uh, together. Um, and so that really took up a lot of my time, um, but I still got in some pretty good training days. I basically trained, ran um, every day, if not every other day, did also strength training at the gym every day. Um, and if I didn't go to the gym, I would just do a calisthenics workout at home. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the main thing for me was just kind of um, getting used to running on trails. So as much as I could, I would go to a trail near my house um, and, and run anywhere between five to six miles there um, just to kind of get used to like the feel. And I didn't taper um, for this race just because I felt like I honestly didn't... Uh, have to. Um, I, I think that my legs were feeling great, I was feeling great, and running six miles didn't really seem like um, a, a difficult feat. Um, but yeah, and then the, the, the day of the race came, um, I was super excited, went there, did it, felt amazing, um, and I love trail running. I feel like in many ways, it's similar to road running. Um, in many ways, it's completely different. And um, I just love kind of diversifying running in general. And I think that's a great way to do that. Um, and also where I live is just an impeccable spot for trail running um, here in, in Southern California. And um, yeah, I'm really excited um, for the future. So. Um, if you guys are wondering, like, you know, if I'm racing again or, or 
what race I'll be doing. Um, I am actually going to Armenia um, in 10 days from today. Um, so super excited about that. Vlogs coming of, like, of me being in Armenia. I'm gonna make a whole series about it. So stay tuned and make sure you've subscribed and hit the notification bell so you won't miss an upload from me. But super excited for you guys to see those videos, just like day in the lives, running, all of that fun stuff, all the all of the good stuff. But um, I'm actually racing the Vineyard Trail um, half marathon in a region of Armenia called Vyotstov. Um, and it looks stunning. Like the, the race literally goes through a vineyard, which I am so excited about. But yeah, that's my next race. It's on May 7th and I will be vlogging that for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk a little bit about my first trail running experience, trail race, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, guys, I um, am happy that I'm able to kind of document this for, for you. And again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. It truly means so much to me that you um, click on my videos. Um, and yeah, leave a comment about what you want to see next. Um, I'm more than happy to make that for you. But until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, and yeah, see you in a bit. Bye.